Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce to you the Summoner 2.0. Now, yesterday I posted a video showing, you know, the uh, like a glimpse into what a Summoner could be. And alongside it, as a Reddit thread, I posted as well, you know, a bunch of items that I wish I could get for this build and how good it would be if I could get three-piece, uh, you know, of the Zunimasa set with the ring that reduces the amount of pieces you need to complete the set. So my dream build is still not achieved for a summoner character in uh, in Diablo 3 Reaper Souls, but I've come up with something that works kind of, it, it's kind of well as a, as a gap filler, right? So we're using Tasker and Theo. We found this a little earlier today. So I already had the Mask of Jeron giving my pets 100% more damage. And we got Tasker, of Theo, Tasker and Theo, which doubles their attack speed. Now the interesting thing is, you, you might be thinking to yourself, oh, it's only plus 100% damage, another on top of that. No, it's actually quadruple damage, because you start with, like, I don't know, baseline, let's say you deal 1 damage. And then you say, oh, you double, you d double that, so you deal 2 damage. And then you double the attack speed, so you deal 4 damage, so you went from 1 damage to 4. It's actually, like, a quadruple amount of damage dealt in a certain amount of time. Now... Admittedly, you know, uh, with Tasker and Theo, you do need some specific positioning to get the maximum DPS out of it. But your fetishes seem to be really good as far as AI goes, so they usually get a cooldown reduction like hell. So what we are using is Fetish Army with three more dagger wielding guys, Big Bad Voodoo to increase the attack speed even further to maximize that, Tribal Rise to reduce the cooldown on Big Bad Voodoo and Fetish Army baseline, Grave Injustice. Uh, for cooldown reduction as well, in case we need it on Spirit Walk, it's always useful. Gargantuan I'm putting in, but I'm still not convinced. I really like the guy. He is in there for the time being, but I was thinking of putting in Zombie Dogs at some point in the future. So I am using Play of Toes, Reign of Toes, for the sole purpose of having a fast attack. That yeah, you're looking at the you're looking at the screen, right? You see those things? You see those skeletons? Some of you might recognize them. Some of you might be wondering what the hell is happening. I've got Litany of the Undaunted and its counterpart, the Wailing Host, both of which, when you have them together, <laughs> spawn skeletons for a certain amount of time, which also DPS fairly high. And the cool thing is that they benefit from the Mask of Jerome. I tested this myself. They deal the twice the amount of damage they should do, and they also benefit from Tasker and Theo attacking twice as fast. Right? So we're looking at an amazing synergy here. Uh, not only will we have amazing fetish army DPS and, you know, cooldown recovery, because we use a dagger that makes it so for every fetish hit, we get one cooldown reduction on Big Bad Voodoo and fetish army. But we also get a bunch of skeletons. Now, the AI on these skeletons is probably still getting worked on based on my experience, but I want to show you how it works. I mean, we, yesterday I was farming master, a master level rift, and today, I can safely say we can kill, we can complete a Torment 3 Rift with a Summoner build. Be, be, like, Tasker and Theo changed everything. Now, if we went to Master right now, we would completely dominate that area. It would not even come any close. So we're using Gargantuan with the ability to stun enemies at times. I don't know if it's optimal or even good. So let's pop the, the little fetishes and the big bad voodoo. And let's start spawning some skeletons with our main attack. And watch as the skeletons attack for 4.6 million damage. I would like to point out that we still have no crushing blows, right? We're, we are a farming torment without crushing. I wouldn't say farming, but we're downing torment without any crushing blow. 0%. So we are not cheesing our way to killing stuff. Oh my god, so many skellies. This is unreal. Fire chains, illusionist, fire chains, jailer. Oh, that is one of the worst possible elite packs we could ever get, ever. I don't think it gets any worse than that for us, because Jailer kills the skeletons. The fetishes are going to be the bulk of our DPS here, so we are hoping that their their cooldown comes back fast enough. Good it is. So let's pop it. Pop more fetishes, big bad voodoo. Get in the back there. Get in the back and let the fetishes do their magic. Look at the damage pile up here. We're talking about elites on Torment 3. Tons of health. Tons of health. We use piranhas to stack the enemies on top of each other. And a late pack downed. Yes. Our fetishes are the best. Your fetishes suck. Mine are good. Alright, so fetishes can, can actually take down an elite pack on Torment 3 without too much difficulty. 
Let's start spawning more skeletons that hit for 4.6 million, ladies and gents. Yes, indeed. We are also using, I would like to add, as a new piece of gear that we got yesterday, um, an item named the S of Johan, which is an amulet that pulls all enemies in a little vortex. I use this for the sake of uh, simplifying my fetish's job when they need to focus target. I'm pretty sure it helps them a lot. They, they must be really thankful for that. I have engaged a Vampiric Thunderstorm Desecrator Frozen Pulse guy. It's kind of risky some of these guys because on hardcore, you know, if I get Vortex into Fire Chain sometimes, shit can hit the fan. But with Big Bad Voodoo and my little fetishes, I feel kind of safe as you can see there. There we go. Feeling kind of safe indeed. Man, the cooldown reduction of those fetishes is insane. They literally are almost permanent. And with the skeletons that spawn on top of it, beautiful. Get in and fight! I should just lay back and let my minions do the job. Oh wait, that's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> Already 45% of the monsters killed. Fetishes spawn, which means Big Bad Blue is coming really, really soon. And uh, my pets, my, my skeletons also benefit from Big Bad Voodoo. I would like to point that out. Like, how sick is that? Now, obviously, um, this is not an optimized farming build. I mean, the AI on the skeletons is pretty awful, as you'll see once I get in melee range. Like, they, they, they don't always attack. Sometimes they're just... Well, then again, you can't really see much with this stupid spinning guy. <laughs> you spinning guy, stop. Big bad voodoo fetishes, attacking even faster, cooldown reduction. Oh my god, that was a close call. My armor got reduced really, really, really low. God damn, I hate, I hate that thing. Are these elite packs? No, they're just plagued, right? They're kind of the typical plague dudes. That was high damage intake. I was not prepared. That plague is annoying as all hell. Hardcore is the only moment where these things bother you, I think. Alright, come on, come on, come on, do this. Spawn some summoning things. Alright, there we go. You spawn the fetishes, you let the fetishes go in and kill stuff, right? Do they die too fast to the poison, poison clouds? Come on, skeletons, attack. See the AI right there. The, the skeletons are just kind of standing there and not even attacking. Even when they're in range, it's not a... Oh my god, dude, th these guys are a bitch to kill. Alright, there we go. Finally, skeleton. Well, the moment the skeletons wake up, the moment that the AI is fixed on these things, you can go summoner your heart out. Oh my god, this kills the skeletons instantly. This needs to stop. This massacre needs to stop. Oh my lord. Oh my god. Come on, fetishes, go in there. Do your job. Kill everything. Yeah, is it working? I think it did. Big bad voodoo. A game? Fetish army. Again. Okay, fetish army. Are you prepared? Because I'm not. What is that, boss? What is that? What did I just stumble upon? It looks to be going fast. The boss seems to be moving really quickly towards my... I have no idea what it is. It's a cow, motherfucker, what? It's the Lord of Bells. What am I looking at? The Lord of Bells is gonna get killed by a D2 Necromancer. And some fetishes on top. See the AI on the skeletons? The skeletons are not attacking as they should.
See, the health of these guys is actually, of this, uh, of this big boss is actually going down fairly well. It's sitting on a baseline, I would say, based on the damage I'm dealing, 1.7 billion or so health. Baseline. Um, and once I move the skeletons past them, uh, usually the skeletons kind of wake up at some point. I big bad voodoo them, and they start attacking for 4 million a pop. That is a lot of damage, considering the amount of them that I got. Lord of Bells shall go down. Massive cow. Oh my god, three of them? What? Why are there three Lords of Bells? What happened? I guess that's more things for my fetishes to hit. Oh my god, it's throwing lightning at me now. Oh my god, it spawned a bunch of minions. What is this? D2 Necromancer, go in, summoner. I wonder if this is not the, if this is the, because this seems to be like the intended difficulty level of these levels, uh, of these rifts. As opposed to having crushing blow carrying you through, you would have to DPS them down in a legit manner, which would look something like that. And I think the summoner build is kind of efficient. And there we go. Back to town. Take in the reward and then call it a day. So, Summoner Build 2.0. Now, you've seen what it can do. Obviously, what I want to get is this little thing there the Ring of Rural Grandeur, uh, which is pretty cool. It reduces the number of items needed for set bonuses by one. And I also want the Golden Gorget Lyric, which allows me to get 5 to 10 skeletal guardians for a long period of time after I get a massacre bonus. So, even if I were to decline, you know, using the Lit Litany of the Undaunted, because, you know, this is available to all classes, so a lot of people might be going for a summoner build based just on these two items. And with the, uh, the Ring of Royal Grandeur, you can use that with, you know, three pieces of the Zuni Masa set. You use Zuni Masa offhand, the chest piece, the ring. You, you get three pieces with the, the Ring of Royal Grandeur, and that basically allows you to get a permanent fetish army, right? Fetish army that lasts until it dies, so you're not in a hurry to get the cooldown back, and you can always keep this weapon here to reduce the cooldown in case they die. So you would have a working build there that would be kind of cool. Um, I, I think I'd like to test that at some point once I get the Zuni Master's Pox and maybe replace the skeletons with just a permanent fetish army of eight little dagger wielding freaks. So until that happens, I'll keep playing this build, see how it works. Let's see what we get from Ulrich. Greater Haraja Cash, probably nothing. Typical, typical run. Um, so until next time, guys, uh, take care of yourselves. And if you're playing Hardcore Diablo 3, don't die. If you're playing Hearthstone, don't miss the mana cast on Tuesday. Hopefully, we're going to be able to pull it off. And uh, until next time, have a nice one.